very experienced politicians led us into Iraq. Very experienced politicians led us into Vietnam. Uh, basically, very experienced politicians brought us to where we are. And I challenge the idea that only people whose careers have been entrenched for decades in the mindset, in the limitations of the mindset, that drove us into this ditch are the only ones who can leave us out of it. Uh, Franklin Roosevelt said that the uh, most important job of the presidency is moral leadership. He said that the administrative aspect is secondary. And I also want to discuss for a moment what the Constitution says. When the Constitution writes about the um, qualifications for the presidency, it's very interesting what it says, but it's also very interesting what it does not say. It says that the president has to have been born here, which I was, had to <coughs> have lived here for 14 years, which I have, and has to be 35 years or older, which I am. If the founders had wanted to say that the president had to be a congressman or a senator or a governor, then they could have. And I believe that they didn't for a reason. They didn't because they were leaving it to every generation to determine for itself the skill set that that generation feels is most necessary to adequately navigate the challenges of, our, of its time. This issue of, of um, Franklin Roosevelt saying the most important thing is moral leadership. I don't believe that that's ever been more true. We need a political visionary right now more than we need a political mechanic. And what do I mean by that? Political mechanics is, a, is a, an important thing. And I have a lot of respect for people who are good political mechanics. And some good political mechanics are running for president. And listen, if, the, if, if Trump had wanted to get some good political mechanics, like from the uh, Republican Party, he could have. Any that he even allowed to get close, you know, he ended up getting rid of. So it's not like they don't already exist in Washington. But a political visionary is something different. And I'm not surprised, you know, even in, in my own case. I, I think whatever I, the most important things I bring to this candidacy and the most important things I would bring to the presidency are actually insights and skills that I would not have gotten had I, were I a quote unquote experienced politician. I'm experienced at something else. I have qualifications. They are just different qualifications. Right now, our political establishment, you know, there's a lot of talking about the trees, but nobody seems to be talking about the forest here, and that's where we most have a problem. You can have the best political me uh, car mechanic in the world, but the best car mechanic, even if you have the best car, doesn't necessarily know what road you should be on, what road you should be taking to San Antonio. And that's what I believe that I bring. When I talk about issues of war and peace, where are all those experienced politicians? Other than Tulsi, hello. Uh, when I talk about the in incredible vulnerabilities and challenges of American children, why, why am I having to bring this up? Where are all those experienced politicians? When I talk about the deeper issues of race and really getting down about paying reparations, where are all the experienced politicians? About when you actually talk about a plan for reparations. When I, when I talk about what's in our, the contaminants in our water and the carcinogens in our food and the toxins in our air and how in my whole health plan we have to do more than talk about symptoms. We have to talk about cause. We have to talk about why Americans are so sick compared to, the, um, uh, to people in other, other countries of comparable wealth and how it's because we've been so sold out to chemical companies and to food companies and to agribusiness and to oil and gas, that we have all these toxins that are making people sick. Sometimes it's somebody who's not a part of the political establishment who you need to come in there. It's kind of like Teddy Roosevelt. Why is that? Because the political establishment created this mess.